Modest lifestyle. Welcome back to the channel. It's a reaction video. Who made it to the table? You and I. We are here. We are back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. Quick reminder. You love me. I love you back. I love you with the wood. I love you back to back. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Backpackers everywhere, lazy people everywhere. Where is my backpacker? Of course, we are very much around home, our homeland, our base. That's where we are. <laughs> no leave, no transfer. We died there. Whether you want to believe it or not, strike us from now till December. We're still gonna come back like we never left. You get what I mean? Hey! Baba Marowa came for the reactors. The lion, Simba himself. Hey! Guys, I thought I have seen it all. Mara claimed that all we are doing here is lies. All we are doing here is fake. We are just, you know, he's feeding us. How can you now, you are feeding us, you want to remove this bread and butter from our mouth, Baba Marowa? Baba Marowa strikes Simba for exposing his dad. Marowa is striking reactors for something very useless. Thumbnail. Guys, you will never believe it. If somebody has used your content, you can understand. But thumbnail is sheer wickedness. It's sheer frustration. But Marwa is for you, you are giving us this attention that I ask myself, do we even deserve this? Do we deserve your time? Yani, all the way from Yapohanze, you left everything you were doing for free bees. Now that you are there, you are still miserable. You have even frustrated Jamaica uncle Baba Marwa. Marwa, rest. Officially, Coco Mama is asking you to rest because, guys, my tired is tired. Jamaica uncle apparently lended Marwa money, borrowed Marwa money for the solar system. Yani, it's not like he did it. He did the whole lot for Baba Marwa. And I'm very sure he's not expecting Marwa to pay him back. But you see this one, this solar. He expected his money back. No wonder towards the end of the video he did with Jamaica Uncle, right? Jamaica Uncle mood was zero. He was flat, flat, flat. Hey, guys, I heard that Marwa showed us his bola. Are you sure he didn't do this purposely? Are you sure he didn't do it? Because we always see him in between, you know, hanging and banging his bola like this, like a bell. And he claims that, no, I don't like to wear panties. I don't like to wear braids. Mm, soft life and everything will be going soft like this. Everything will be sweeping the eggs. What is this? This bola is not our business here. We don't wanna, we don't wanna keep it between your legs. That is not why we are here. I don't even believe that he did it by, like he's not intentional to, by mistake that he exposed. No, no, no. I believe that he knows what he's doing. He wants us to check him out. Yani? He's done and dusted with Roro Roro. I mean, he has gotten what he wants. Managed to make Roro Roro pregnant. What else? Pay Jamaica uncle his money. Don't focus on us. Huh? The worst you can do is what you are doing now. Striking Simba. And I pray that nothing will happen to his channel. Because there's another little guy. I forgot his name. Hold on a second. Because we need to be calling them out by their names. We are not afraid here. This person also strikes Simba. For what reason, I'm asking myself. Why? If he has not done anything... Guys, can you now see that this person is purely, purely Baba Marwa's father? Mark Wery is Baba Marwa's father. When is Mark Wery opening his YouTube account? Hey, because this one caught Marwa by surprise. You don't want to show us your father because he's not what to do. Guys, can you close your eyes and ask yourself this question? If Mark Warren was a billionaire in Yabohanze, Yani, very, very rich. Biggie Biggie is a liar. Mark Warren told us that the meaning of Marwa is first son. Okay? And now Biggie Biggie is coming up with lies. Let me find out another guy, a YouTuber, Yani. You want to cash out from this app, but you don't want another to cash out. Shame on you guys. Since you lack focus, since, since you don't know why you are on this page. On a more serious note, you guys should leave me alone. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Coco, mama, have you ushered in your people? 
Grab whatever that is grabbable. I got my borrow of water here. A quick reminder, if you love me, I still love you, you know already. I just need to let you know. Let's continue. In fact, this is I'm not going to say that. In fact, all of us are here. Coco Mama of the Most High, the Blessed Ones, Lazy Gang, the returning subscriber. You guys, hey, the moderators. Hmm. On a more serious note, tell me why. why I, I mean, we, you guys are the brain behind these things here. Me, I'm just bringing my face here. But you, you are the ones running this show back to back, back to back. Oh, Sandy, oh, Wendy, oh, oh Sandy, oh, Wendy, oh. As he they pain them, he they sweet us. As he they pepper them, he they sweet us. If you give it to me, hey, I give it to you. I know what you want. You know I got it. Hey, each time Baba Marwa comes, I will come back here and throw it to him. What the hell? What is going on here? They are right here. You don't know what you want. Hmm? Simba is your problem. The lion is your problem. Guys, me, I wouldn't say that lion exposed Baba Marwa. Because Mark Warren is an adult. If you don't want to be recorded, if you don't want to grant interview to someone, it's up to you to be like, you know what? I respect my son, okay? We don't have this relationship, but it's okay. I don't wanna. Okay, let me say that Simba went to him. Yani, Simba went looking for him because he probably got information. He didn't tell me this, okay? I haven't heard from Simba how he managed to get hold of Makuwari, Baba Marwa's father. I don't know. But let me just say, Simba got information that this is Baba Marwa's father. Because for Marwa to come after Simba now, trying to delete the channel, trying to use every means to strike who is this other person? Let me find out because I like to catch them like that. There's another guy that striked him as well. This is crazy. It's cra That's one thing I love about YT. <laughs> if someone has done something to you, let's say someone requested that your video should be taken down because of one or two things, because you used it. There's this thing, copyright, okay? Whereby, you, 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 even if you want to use someone's content, you should be fair enough to use it. You, like, you don't carry it and you don't add anything to it. You are not even appearing. That's why if you are a reactor, you are aspiring to be a reactor. Do it the right way. And your thumbnail, don't be lazy. Don't screenshot someone's thumbnail and just put it on your own. That's duplication already. Yani, you can take the person's picture because it's on social media there's nothing that person can do about it but don't use exactly the same copy okay and then you don't edit it out you don't add something to the thumbnail and you're using the same Mar this is why Marwa striped Simba isn't it crazy this person is I am Shakila who is I am Shakila hide your face who sent you you are striking our Simba on behalf of someone, on behalf of your boss. I haven't even gone to this person's channel. But it's crazy, guys. Biggie, biggie can lie, yo. you guys. <laughs> don't believe, you, including Coco Mama. Any information I'm sharing here, make sure you verify it. You understand? Because I might be wrong. Let me put it up. It might not be my intention, but some people intentionally, they lie. They lie like nothing else. He just like another lady called Diana Desi telling us that Nasto is 20 years. Me, I am 12. Mm -hmm. Nasto, meet Nasto 20 years. Let's even start looking at these things. So, according to Biggie Biggie, Marwa doesn't mean first son in Korea. Then, you know, some of us here, <laughs> we know what we are doing, we know how to go about these things. Google says what? In the Korea people's culture, Marwa is a masculine name reserved for the firstborn male in a family. The male, vi the male variant of the name is Marwan. Marwan, a muscular name. So, what is Biggie Biggie talking about? They are trying by all means to bring this guy down, Mark Kuwari, just like the PA. PA, that one. I don't know what to tell her again. 
honestly speaking. Because she will come up and be like, oh, these reactors are lying. They are doing this for you. If you are reacting and you want to correct the mistake somebody has made and you are not actually doing it for you, you shouldn't monetize that video. <laughs> you understand? Like, the Simba, the lion, was lying. Okay, let's say Mark Ware is a clowntina. Okay, this guy is not Baba Marwa's father. Oh, they are trying to bring Marwa down. And da, 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 da. What is this guy talking about? Oh, Marwa is not aware of who this guy is. So how can you claim that you are someone's father when this person doesn't? Okay, let, let's say, let's go towards that scenario. Tell me why PA will now set up her ring light. Like the way Coco Mama set her own now. Did a video and monetized it to condemn another. You are as guilty as all of us here. We are still on the same table. Like I told you guys, I'm not going to say that this, our Simba, this lion, nobody is above mistake. If he has done mistake, I'll probably react again and be like, Simba, I think you are wrong this time. But till now, I'm still convinced that he hasn't done anything wrong because Mark Wari is not a baby. Baba Marwa's father is an adult. If Baba Marwa's father was... A minor, I'll probably be like, nah, you need the consent of her parents to do this. Why? Why probing these people? And Marwa is a social media person. Marwa has been interviewing people. Marwa has been invading in people's privacy up and down. Marwa has been recording people without their consent. So what are you guys even defending? What exactly did he expose? How? How did he attack Baba Marwa? Why is it that... Uh, why is it that... Up till now, YT, that video is 11k. Up till now, YT has not taken that video down. Why? If that video is really, really like some of you guys thinking that oh, he went far, why did he go looking for Marwa's father? Why not? We are here for what? To create content. Mm -hmm. So long as the person you are trying to record accepted it. That's how me I see it. It's not in private. It is very far from being a private business. Mara has shared the picture, even the barrier. Mara has done a lot about his family already. His mom is a YouTuber. So why can't we see his dad? Why can't we meet his biological dad? We have seen his stepdad. His grandfather, who is not a YouTuber, Mara will run with Gitreba, bother bother, travel only God knows, maybe one hour to go see this grandfather may his soul rest in peace getting there, he's offering him sugary stuff and then he's turning back recorded, recorded him, recorded everything his vulnerability, his environment that is Higi Haga and everything and then going to share this to the whole world and to cash out and to make money what are you guys not telling me? Keep striking. If you are a content creator here, whether you are in support of Marwa today, use the person's content in a fair and reasonable manner. Because that person you are singing his praises today, tomorrow you might have something negative to say about that person and the person will come for you. This is exactly how it works here. You are... Falling in love with someone today. Loving, loving, I love you so much. What did you eat today? What did you not eat? Ah, I can't wait. I miss you so much. Oh, I'm vibrating. My heart is vibrating for you. Hey, you see, tonight, tonight we're going to kill each other. The next month, you are divorcing this person. So, this is life. This life is not balanced. So. <laughs> I'm telling you. You see, Baba Marwa, the way he's getting bitter. Oh, why did this guy touch me to this level? Even exposing my father that is disabled like this. Disability doesn't mean that his own has finished. Disability doesn't mean that he's dead. Disability doesn't mean that he is... Disability doesn't mean that he's dead. He's still alive. He's still got his life. He's still reasoning well, raising his children hoping that things will be okay, asking you to come and receive your blessing. Hey, Jamaica uncle told Marwa that he is like Baba Marwa. He's like Marwa's dad. Asking myself, does he know Marwa's dad? <laughs> hey, you see how truth is coming out. 
Jamaica uncle expected his money back, like I was telling you guys. You see, Kokomo, my job from here, the up and down. Leave it like that. Monkey no fine, mama like him. You guys should leave me alone. Be killing it in your killing money. Leave me alone because there are people that left me here. Strike! <laughs> Only God knows how many times they have tried to. <laughs> Only God knows. You see, the, you see this app is not for lazy people. Don't come and carry Marwa's video, play everything, and then you are out. Mm -mm, that's lazy work. That is pure lazy reaction we're talking about. React. Put in your own. And then you will be all right. You think Marwa coming for the lion that he hasn't come for me he hasn't come for the ceo he hasn't come for other reactors lazy reactors lazy negative reactors he has tried everything imagine he's even coming for the thumbnail now like i was telling you guys jamaica uncle is expecting his money back that's why when marwa came with this oh i bought a land for you i have a land gift why waiting until he was about to leave kenya you guys should be thinking like the way i'm thinking why now that this dude borrowed money to him for his solar and Marwa is supposed to pay him back because Marwa, ever since he lended this money to you, you have received salary here on YouTube. Your woman's channel is also monetized. Basically surviving on other people's sweat. He's not spending that much. This guy did a lot, did a lot, did a lot for him. Only when he met up with him, I don't know why this... Jamaica uncle, some Jamaicans already made it clear that this guy, the way he sounds, you can tell with his accent and everything, he's purely, purely Jamaican, but for sure, for sure, he's not behaving like one. <laughs> so many, I've seen comments, so many people say, nah, 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 this is not how we are, because I have a very close friend who is a Jamaican, you know, I know, they are, boom, 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 they, they are straight like Bola. You come for them, they come for you. They give it to you. Sora, sora. Fast, fast. And that is it. So, why is this guy leaking and worshipping Marwa? Now he's claiming after Marwa brainwashed, brainwashed him. I've done this reaction yesterday. I'm just touching other ones that I did not touch, okay? After Marwa brainwashed, brainwashed him. Now he claimed that his ancestors came from Kenya. Now he claimed that he knows where he's from. It's good. Africa is one. Africa, you can even be from, you, you do DNA test and DNA says you are 80% Nigerian, 80% Igbo, you're 20% Sierra Leone, or you are 10% Ghanaian, you are 90% Ghanaian, or you are even 100% from East Africa, you're from Kenya. You might just decide to move to Mauritania. You can even decide to move to Tanzania. It doesn't really matter. Wherever you feel comfortable is your home. Wherever it is conducive, wherever that gives you peace of mind, automatically is your home. That's why people migrate to all these places, Western world, and they struggle to come back. I have relatives, I've heard stories. You know, whenever I come back, people will be like, oh, how I wish my relative, you know, for 30 years, I've not seen my relative. They are in Yankee, we've been begging them. They actually built a very nice, house here but they refuse to come back we've been begging them to come when their mom died they didn't come when their dad died they didn't come oh some we even buried their parents some that managed to pull their parents to abroad where they are actually buried their parents there in the burial ground which is a no-no to our culture yani it doesn't matter where i die i want to be buried in my parents soil okay this is it this is where I come from, and this is where I should go. It's like that. So, some actually, that's why when, whenever we see anybody from abroad, you know, coming back, relocating, feeling like, okay, I'm going to connect to motherland, we get really, really excited like that. And that's why Wedemaya is on this table. Wedemaya surprised the woman that washed his feet. We have a clip on that. But what I don't understand with Wedemaya is, Maya, your title and your thumbnail made it look as if it's your effort, like solely your effort. But we meanwhile, it's a collective effort from another guy, your subscriber, from what Wodemaya said, this guy saw how this woman was so humble, 
washed and prayed for Wodemeyer, washed his feet, you know, made Wodemeyer feel so good and special. So this subscriber probably is the one sponsoring this, of course, through the platform of Wodemeyer. Wodemeyer, you should have come straight and make it straight. Or is this one clickbaiting or what? I don't understand. It's not clear to me. Because even when Wodemeyer was telling this woman, oh, through this guy that saw your video, I managed to give you this surprise. Just come straight and be like one of my persons, eh? Give you this ticket to come down to Ghana to connect to motherland. I don't have any problem, Jamaica uncle, getting gifts as a land. But coming from this person, especially when somebody is owing you and you are expecting this person to pay you, all this while that Jamaica uncle was, mind you, her, Jamaica uncle spent at least two months in Yabuhanse. All this while that he was there, before you left with your girlfriend, before you left with your pregnant Rororo, you didn't know that you would gift him. It didn't occur to your mind that, okay, now that he's here, let him see the diameters of the land. Let him see how big. Let him even see if this is really, really true. Or just for camera. I gifted Jamaica uncle a land. Eh, eh. What he wants is his money. This is what he wants. That's why his mood was flat, flat, flat. <laughs> Jamaica uncle, he, that was not what he expected. He expected Barra to be like, you know what? This is your money you borrowed me. Ah, that time, that time you really rescued me. Mm. Now that I've got the money, here is your money. Oh, give me your account. Let me transfer the money to your account. Something like that. I'm not saying audio like, who does that, guys? This guy is coming to you for farewell. This guy is coming to you to say goodbye to you. And then you are announcing that you have given him a land that he didn't see and he wouldn't go back to Yabahanze to see this land and we know Marwa doesn't do paperwork for lands if you are following Marwa you know he's totally totally against it especially this village land he just negotiates and that's it how sure are we that this is not the land you remember Winnie there's another lady somebody I forgot the names but there's this other lady that donates heavily on Marwa's channel and she claimed that she bought a land for her no she gifted her a land he claimed that he gifted this subscriber a land are you sure it's not the same land that is going around like this round and round and round and round because jamaica uncle number one didn't see this land we've not seen it they are not even in the Yabuhanse. why saying this now why making this announcement when saying is what believe Jamaica uncle, <laughs> I'm feeling something between Jamaica uncle and Nos Aisha. And some of you guys also said stuff like Jamaica uncle, the way he's throwing himself to the Marawas, the way he's, you know, getting too excited for little, little things, and the way he's behaving in general, that he, lo he looks like he's someone who is single and lonely, who doesn't have a lot of people around. So to him, this African tour is everything to him. This being around the Yabuhanze jumping. The Lucas family actually followed Jamaica uncle to Nairobi. <laughs> you remember the lady, the married lady that was crying for Jamaica uncle? Now, there's this other girl that gave Marowa and Rororo free nursing consultation, okay? Nurse Aisha. I spotted this nurse Aisha with Jamaica uncle and his crew. And this his crew. <laughs> This is his crew. Some of them, I don't want to come and give them free shout out here because how many of them has given me free shout out? No, 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 no. I'm not here to even gun. Even though I have a lot to say, I have so many things bothering me around those people, those guys, you know, moving around with Jamaica Uncle. But I'm not going to give them no attention. Mm, that is it. That's how I feel this time around. Not now. Not that must Aisha. Something happened. Even though they thought that they are smart enough to cut it, but I saw it. Jamaica uncle bought finger food, okay? Some musa, some fries, and all whatnot. And they got it like on a big plate like this. And Jamaica uncle, of course, is the one that bought. Jamaica uncle is the one feeding this his crew. He has been feeding them. That's why most of them cried when he left the Yabuhanse. For real, they cried. 
So Jamaica uncle, while they were trying, oh look at it, it's very yummy, very crispy, and all that, all this yeah, yummy, 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 yummy. I spotted Nurse Aisha also trying out this stuff. So it means that she was among them. And I'm like, okay, Nurse Aisha from nowhere. Is Nurse Aisha there for Jamaica uncle or for these other guys? I don't understand. I remember Marwa also featured her, okay? Now, when Jamaica uncle tried out this samosa, or some, there's something that he tried, and he passed out the leftover, and he passed it towards the direction of Nurse Aisha. And can you imagine, if you have eaten something with your saliva marinating and everything, you know, for you to pass out something that you have tried with your saliva and everything, you must do that with someone that, number one, you know that this person's hygiene is on check, okay? Or this person is close to you. This person is someone you marinate. You understand what I mean? That's the only time you feel comfortable not to bother. But Jamaica uncle, passing this thing, this leftover chop, that he got to Nos Aisha, towards Nos Aisha, and the way they cut it off, I'm like, hey, Jamaica uncle, tell us more. What is going on? Now we know why people are crying, even married women. <clears throat> let me start, let me start from there. I want you guys to see. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, leave me with my overthinking. I feel like Jamaica uncle is a busy guy, and I feel like I doubt, Yanni, probably he's divorced. Another thing I want to say here is, you see how Jamaica uncle was free with his GoPro camera everywhere in Abahanza, filming, recording people even when they are brewing locally made alcohol that is illegal, that government can actually arrest these guys, he's doing that, he's doing a lot, a lot. Now that he's back to Yankee, if we don't see his family, if I don't see his wife, I will automatically assume that he's not married. I will automatically assume that he's a single guy. That's how me I want to see it. He can't expose, he can't be filming all that as recording, going there, meeting this person, recording everything and everything, even the minors, okay? And getting to over there to Yankee. We are expecting to meet his family over there. And then we're seeing something different, okay? I'm gonna question that. He's going to open my big eyes mm -hmm. if I see his wife then I will be okay I will be convinced yes their business is our business because we share the same space this street belongs to all of us yes let's watch Jamaica uncle <laughs> doing corner cornering with Nos Aisha in my own opinion yes me, I don't need to see a man on top of a woman to conclude. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not a baby like that. I don't need to. Once I see some movement, I know already. Especially when people start editing stuff very fast. <laughs> Mind you that the guys that he's with, those guys are crooks. Those guys. Mm. Believe me or not. Let's watch Jamaica Uncle, guys. Really good. So, my people, come, let us eat. We're gonna dig in it now. Yeah, man, come. We're gonna eat together. Yeah, man, we're gonna eat. Mmm. Good, man. Sorry. Come on. Mashallah. We are clever, man. This is half a quarter of Jamaica. Trust me. Mmm. I have to carry the lady to go to Jamaica and then I can show them how to do it this year. Okay. Because it's it really bad. This is the best. Yeah. Yeah, just. Mm -mm. And we have meat? Yeah. yeah. She meat right there. Guys, look at most of my meat. Hey. Look at most of my meat. If you never take it up and try it, I would know. Yeah. 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 Wicked one. So sweet. Uh -oh. mm -mm. Yeah. yeah, man. I'm sure by now Jamaica uncle has made it back home. He's still posting, of course, his Kenyan vlog. But we are waiting. Yes, our eyes. We are curious. Curiosity kills a cat. We are very much curious to see what is going on there over there in Yankee. 
what he's got over there. Mm -hmm. What is this? Can we see Maya surprising this lady through his subscriber, not him directly? Maya has done stuff like this. Maya is a giver. The message here actually is not even about who gave this woman a ticket to come down to Ghana. Whether it's Maya or Maya subscriber. No, that's not my major thing here. Even though I would prefer if he comes straight, like to spell it out that this subscriber. Thank God that he said it and he showed the guy that was behind this surprise, okay? But the message again here is, if you want to do stuff like this, if you want to invest in someone, if you want to surprise someone, if you want to put smile on the face of someone, do it on your own. Don't ask your audience. Don't abuse your audience. Don't take advantage of your audience. This is another reason why we have, again, disagreed with Mr. Kenge over here. This is one of the reasons. He likes to, actually, this is not even one of the reasons. This is the genesis, okay? You remember Afro-Indians? He collected gold from me, which he shouldn't. Someone told me that Roya Kim did not raise gold for me for farming, that he did it to finish the land payment, that he's afraid that he's going to lose his land. I saw a comment like that. Oh, Coco Mama, Roya Kim is not doing gold for me for farming. He's doing it to finish his land payment. Now, and I want to say something here. It's not medically necessary. It's not an emergency. It's not life threatening. If it's not life threatening, if somebody is not in danger, if somebody is not homeless, if somebody is not about to die, then you shouldn't risk. Go for me. Don't abuse these things. Buying a land again is not by force. It's a good thing to invest. It's a good thing to have your own, even if you're not going to build it. Did I not tell you guys that Nasto the competition now is that people must have different houses, not just one. <laughs> now, Nasto has announced it that he's having a new project. He's starting a new project. He's starting to build another house. Of course, a mega one. He regretted building this one that he built. And he didn't, like, he regretted not dreaming so big. He regretted not making it so big, which is not bad. But <laughs> what I don't understand is, People stylishly begging, people stylishly activating for donation, you know, acting like they are doing charity, raising money and using it for their own gain. And a news vendor, this guy, Diana, that I don't understand, no one that she was arrested in Burundi. <laughs> it really happened. I saw this on her page. This Diana will not kill me. Listen to what this Diana said about Nasto. Meet Nasto, a guy who is 20 years old but living his dream because of YouTube. This guy started posting on YouTube his lifestyle. He also ended up quitting everything to focus with YouTube. The some of the achievement and spending the day with him. Count. You're very much welcome. Uh -huh. yeah, so there are some trees I want to take. Uh -huh. And then I join yeah. you guys. My friend, okay, go take. Yeah, one minute. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, no problem. Okay. I can also help you out. No problem. Guys, is this not funny? Is it not funny that Nasto is 20 years and he made his money by sharing YouTube video? He made his money by donation. He made his money. You guys should stop this. You guys should stop lying. This is pure white lies. Nasto, 20 years. Nasto is nothing less than 37 years or even 35. Nasto might actually be older than Mr. Kenge. You see how Mr. Kenge was exposed by his father. This is another thing that is paining Baba Marwa. It's like scrutinizing. It's like screwing him very bad. It's paining him. It's piercing into his heart. How can his father expose him like this when he's always telling us 32, 32? For the past three years, Mr. Kenge has claimed to be 32, 30, every year 32. Now he said 33. Maybe because now he's expecting a baby. So it feels like he has achieved something. At least he has managed to make a woman pregnant. It's a big achievement. <laughs> of course, it's a big achievement on his side. All these guys, stop this. I mean, if you want to interview someone, go ahead. And somebody claiming to you that he's 20, and you can tell as an adult, you can tell that this person is lying. You must not also come here and make yourself look so stupid by because we are hearing this from this lady probably nasto told her that he is 20 
You understand? Because actually, she interviewed Nasto. That's why they are coming up with these lies. Oh, Nasto built the house by sharing YouTube videos. You forgot that heavily, heavily he received donations from all these US mummies. You forgot to talk about that one. So like I was saying, guys, of course, Nasto received donations heavily, heavily from, you know, back to back from these US mummies. They supported him a lot. He pretended as if he was never married. You know, he never claimed that he's not married, but he also was not like into talking about his family. He claimed that he wanted to keep his family private until we busted that he took a second wife. Okay. See, he's still not making it clear what happened to him and his first wife. Someone like this, you're gonna talk rubbish. You want to inspire people. You want everybody now to jump on YouTube and think that, oh, he left his job within a few spaces of time. He made it. So if you must share this kind of story, be straightforward and make it clear. No corner cornering. Guys, let's watch what the Maya surprising this lady. This was my very first time that I found myself in Portland. And what happened to me next got me super emotional. Like we don't belong to no one. And we know we are under bandit, but we have to just live with it, you know? Wow. So if we see you, hmm. check up our works like this. It looks simple. And some people are then think it's just a black thing. You know? Hmm. And even if some of the bloggers then we just watch how you take up a phone and I go to earth and I answer enough of the situation then. Hmm. They them would have used them blogging page wiser. Yeah. As many people are using blogging page to tear down each other. Wow. The same disunity. I mean, see you as set an example. I mean, if I, they must see just account your follower. Huh? Must... Videos about Africa, it's always children suffering, mm. flies in their mouth and nose and all over. And we know it's not like that, you know? But it is the rising of Africa again. Yeah. When I posted the video, there is this man called Ben Dochimalo. Yeah. that I follow so well and he also follows me mm -hmm. and he's like you know what Maya you cannot let this woman stay in Jamaica yeah. so on behalf of him yeah. and myself yeah. I've decided yeah. to sponsor your trip to the motherland wow wow oh wow yes sir I do pay exactly it's a pleasure um, that I am very proud to accept because as you had asked me before when I was here yeah. Africa live within me it's a beautiful thing like I was about to say if you want to do stuff like this cough it out bring it on don't expect your audience to do this don't ask for donations yes guys let's end it with uh, Kino Kino life our sugar daddy is again back to doing what he loves to do charity he's in trench town and guess where our madam is d d is also in trench town in the past before d left jamaica to go to cayman okay which we don't even know what actually made d to move like to just get out the yani even though kino took her to the airport when she was going but we don't know whether she left angrily, she left pretending as if she's just going there to see what is going on or maybe she just left because she's not happy with Kino, we don't know but what I don't understand again is Kino received someone, a YouTuber, a visitor from Yankee Esther was there with Kino, Kino was around, you know, doing what he loves to do by helping people, oh, this person gave you three thousand dollars this person gave you one thousand dollars and all those guys that he's helping you know he was going around with esther doing this thing where is madame d when madame d came back second time to jamaica okay she went around with them to do the charity she was handing out soup handing out so many stuff she did all that in the same trench town with kino and esther what is going on we need to know why are they always making their audience confused like this? You go to Kino's channel, no D. Like they are moving on like as if everything is okay. You come to this channel, no Kino. 
nobody's saying anything in fact even in the comment section if you try to ask hey people will come for you why are you asking leave these guys alone what is your business they must not be with kino 24 hours they are okay don't bring tension among these people oh, no, 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 no. something is not right they cannot be filming in the market we've seen the doing stuff with kino back to back yani if if kino was outside jamaica i wouldn't be bothering myself but here kino receiving a visitor you know something that i know they would have loved to meet this guy they would have loved to go around and help like she did before what is going on when we ask these things as reactors they think we are jealous yes, we are just asking because it's unusual this is no longer funny this is no longer what we expected let's watch kino before we call it a day let me get that thing then hmm? I get that thing then because she got cook Oh, she go cooking. Yes, yeah, that's what she's going to do. <laughs> she's going to cook. Oh, so Jamie, I got to do some cooking. Cook, cook, cook. Well, man, shut the speed. Hey, I have to go change it back in a minute. All right, then. So, Natisha. Yeah. I have a donation here for you as well, too. I put up mine and I mix it up again. Yes. <laughs> I have a donation here from Jen. Jen? From Canada. $3,000. Thank you. Yes. Out of the cold. Yes, it's out of the cold. 3,000 years for you from Jane from Canada. Yes, Miss Jane. Miss Jane from Canada. Big up yourself and bless you. It's near full basket, never run dry. Mm -hmm. Big up yourself again. Thank you for the donation. Yes, Miss Jane. Right. I also have a thousand here for you as well from Gigi as well as from the USA. Yes, Miss Jane. I'm Gigi. Mm -hmm. Big up yourself and bless you. Your yes, food basket, yeah. never run dry. Make up all that extended family then, same speed. And, and also we got this envelope put on here from a good one from when Mary D was here. Yes, a Mary D was here. Oh. So you missed that trip there. Mary D. So this is your envelope here. From Mary, Mary D. D. Mary D you don't know what think already. Big up and bless her. From them time that you know a long time we are coming. Understand. I understand. She a food basket never runs. She never tell you that. I'm not missing what you need. I read food basket never runs dry, ne never empty. Mm -hmm. Leave up uh, yourself again. Uh, oh, sorry, she never said that. Gotcha. She said I must pull it. I'm not missing what you need. That's a microphone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so we we'll give thanks to Marie B. We thank you so much and GG and also Jen. We thank you so much for blessing the remaining members and that wasn't here. So bless and love and stay tuned for the guests. He will be arriving soon. Soon and very soon. Right. <laughs> Well, well, big up, big up, big well, up. Reach, well, the final the reach, brother. Just touched down. Hey. I said, I are YouTuber too. Yeah, you know what I said? Recently. Yeah. So well, 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 guys. So blessed love, blessed love. Our guest has arrived, you know. He's here in the building, you know. He's here no other than. All right, guys. That's it from us today. If you watch to this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. You are the bestest. Thank you all for coming in today to support your mama like you always do. Thank you for your love, your likes, support, words, words, rishi, 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 rishi. I love and I appreciate you all from the bottom, bottomness of my heart. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Drop it with the with the for Coco Mama. It's very, very important. Have you subscribed to the channel? Yes, join the family. It's free. Nobody is charging you nothing hit on that red button to become part of this amazing family bring someone to the table yes tell a friend to tell a friend about coco mama i'll see you all in my another one peace out peace out peace out bye 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 guys just got on my defense they do things for the end swear you go like me cannot be a 